Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech and today what we're looking at is we just got done doing a nitrogen flow and brazing all the joints in and now we're going to go ahead and do a nitrogen pressure test. We flowed nitrogen through from this side, through into the uh, evaporator coil and then out this side right here. Uh, we just got done brazing these lines and after that we brazed the filter dryer in. The filter dryer is the last thing to get brazed in. There are no Schrader valves in here and here. These valves are front seated. All right, so we're outside here. Uh, we disconnected our flow meter after brazing. We have our new condenser right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and pressure test. We saw the design pressure of the indoor evaporator coil said 450 PSIG max. Okay, if you can make that out, it says design pressure 450 PSIG. So we can actually pressure test that up to 450 at the outdoor unit. We're just gonna go ahead and pressure test this up to about 300. PSIG and what I like to do first is pressure test it up to about 50 PSIG and just go ahead and listen for leaks uh, just to make sure there's nothing obvious uh, you know if, if there's a hole in the breeze or, or a flare or something like that but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and pressure test up to 50 and then we're gonna pressure test up to 300 PSIG we're just gonna make sure that this knob right here is all the way back and then we're gonna go ahead and open up our nitrogen tank we have roughly 1600 PSIG in the tank and all of our hoses and valves are shut and are tight and then we're going to go ahead and turn our knob to 300 psig okay so there's 300 psig we're going to open our gauge set and get that up to about 50 first okay now we're just going to go ahead and listen make sure there's no leaks anywhere and then we'll go ahead and put it up to 300 PSIG. Alright, I don't hear any leaks. We're going to go ahead and increase the pressure. We're going to try to get them two to match just so just so if there's any equalization that occurs one doesn't go down while the other goes up all right there we go about 304 and 304 psig now we're going to go ahead and let that sit there for about uh, 10 minutes i'm going to go ahead and spray down all the joints above the leak detector and then we're going to go ahead and get our uh, vacuum started all right, we're going to go ahead and just spray some bubble leak detector on the joints. Make sure we don't see any bubbles growing. And we're going to do the same thing inside at the filter dryer. We're going to see if there's any bubbles that are being created there either. All right, I went upstairs and checked the joints up there by the filter dryer, and they're all good. And I already sprayed these down with bubble leak detector. The pressure test has held for about 14 minutes now. We're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect our pressure test. So we're going to make sure everything's shut off here. We're going to shut the nitrogen tank off, back out the regulator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the nitrogen out through the low side. So that's how you do a nitrogen pressure test prior to vacuuming the lines. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.